The Mesa Police Bomb Squad unit is always ready. Rain or shine, or even in sweltering heat. Two weeks ago, we got called out three times in one week. We had a call out yesterday. It comes in spurts like everything else, but we're pretty busy and uh, we're in the suit quite a bit. On Tuesday, a suspicious package ended up at the front steps of their headquarters, prompting an officer to put on the bomb suit just in case. This bomb suit offers quite a bit of protection, uh, both from blast pressure, heat, uh, shrapnel. The suit is vital for their survival, but the heat adds another obstacle. A lot of the guys on the team will uh, work out in the heat and kind of get acclimated as it gets hotter and hotter. So just try to get yourself used to that and drink a lot of water and, and just be prepared to sweat. The bomb suit itself is about 70 pounds and the helmet is another 15. Doing that in triple digit heat isn't easy. So I had heat exhaustion uh, probably about three years ago and uh, the fire department had to come out and give me a bunch of IVs. The suit is made up of Kevlar and ceramic plates. This is the heaviest helmet ever. We're going to put the blast shield down and then tuck up your collar so you have protection around your throat. Officers try to limit how long a bomb technician wears the suit. During the summer, they try to keep it under 15 minutes. I have less than 15 minutes. I am not trained. <laughs> After seven minutes, I needed a break. How you feeling? I'm going to get you out because it's really hot. Mesa police say the 4th of July will be a busy day for their bomb squad unit, but they'll try to stay out of the 85 pound suit if at all possible. Now I'm a part of the squad, right? Kim Powell. It's not fun. For Arizona's family. Oh, that's heavy.